The Metro Police Department has found a new leader. Mayor Greg Fisher has named former Atlanta Police Chief Erica Shields as the next chief of police in Louisville. When she takes over on January 19th, Shields will be the second woman to serve in the role following current interim chief Yvette Gentry. Tonight, Gabri Geggis is telling us more about her plans for the department. When she steps into her new role in a few weeks, Chief Erica Shields will no doubt face challenges because she's about to lead a city that has dealt with months of racial injustice protests and a record number of homicides. But she says her track record should speak for itself, pointing to her police department in Atlanta, where she has worked with majority black police officers and under the leadership of black mayors and police chiefs. And therefore, she says she understands the problems that go along with institutional racism. He just caught it in midair. Really? Getting to know the community she will now serve. All right. Come on, come on. You got it. New police chief Erica Shields says Louisville was the only city she was interested in. Chief. Thank you, Mayor. To lead as the top cop. I understand that there is much healing to do across the country and here in Louisville. Her goals include bringing morale back to the police department, curbing the gun violence and improving police and community relations, something that's been hard to bridge after law enforcement shootings of Breonna Taylor and David McAtee. Breonna Taylor was at home in her apartment and she ends up dead. And it's like that didn't have to happen. And I, I if, imagine let's and this is where it's race reckoning. This doesn't happen to white people. A message we haven't heard from police leadership in Louisville since the shootings occurred. Chief Shields shared what she wants to see change. If you're going to police fairly and equitably, your practices have to be consistent and your standards have to be consistent regardless of the neighborhood. For WHS 11 News, I'm Sunite Gebregetigas. While Shields was commenting on the Breonna Taylor case, she incorrectly said Taylor was asleep in her bed when she was killed. In a statement, the Fraternal Order of Police says they addressed that with the new chief, along with their displeasure about the false information. It says, quote, we had hoped to work with the new chief in an effort to make this department successful in recruiting and retaining the best officers our region has to offer. Unfortunately, some of the comments made today have already caused many members to lose faith in her ability to improve this department. However, the FOP he says they're willing to make every effort to work with the new chief. Some community leaders are sharing their concerns about the incoming chief because of how she left her last job. Shield stepped down in Atlanta following the police shooting of Rayshard Brooks. We know what happened when this chief was on watch in Atlanta. And so to bring her here, you just left the same thing. Activist Hannah Drake says she's hurt and disgusted over the decision, but Metro Council President David James argues Shields was an excellent choice despite what happened in Atlanta. You can't be a police chief in a large police in a large city and not have some sort of controversy. That's that's just unheard of. I think she's going to do a fantastic job. Louisville Urban League CEO Sadiqa Reynolds does not agree, but says that she'll work with Shields in hopes the new chief will prove her wrong. And as you heard tonight say earlier, Shields says this job with LMPD was the only job she applied for. I sat down with Shields and asked why Louisville. She says the compassion and engagement in Louisville is not something you see everywhere, and she sees potential even after the shooting of Breonna Taylor. When I looked at the department, yes, they had this horribly tragic incident, but I felt that the, the officers cared and were really committed to and trying to get it right. And so for me, when I looked at it, I felt like Louisville has the potential, and LMPD specifically, to be a leader in 21st century policing. Shield spent 25 years with Atlanta police, working her way up from patrol officer to police chief. We spoke with Vince Champion, who's with Atlanta's police union, about her time in the city. Champion told us while they didn't always agree, Chief Shields treated officers as her co-workers, was always willing to listen to their needs, and stood up for the department. We know a lot of times that she did stand up for the rank and file and say, you know, as the chief, I don't think that's the right way to do it. When she had to talk with the mayor, you know, she stood up in front of our council and she stood strong for the law enforcement officer. And I, I don't foresee out of all the stuff that's gone on and everything that's happened with her, I don't foresee her changing that. 
During her time in Atlanta, Chief Shields mandated the use of body cameras at all times, handed down tough punishments for officers, and ended police pursuits.